going to start with the pictures that I have and see what I like on this page. I don't have any plan right off, but I'm going to let it speak to me as I lay the pictures down and see which ones want to go on the page. This is kind of fun. I've got the alphabet here and the alphabet background on this picture. She's sitting at a desk. This image is a little dark. The transfer came out dark. If I were to do it again, I'd probably adjust the contrast or the brightness of the image to make it brighter before I printed it out onto the transparency so that when I do the transfer, it's not as dark. I like the way it looks printed on the fabric. You can also see that this image is the reverse of this image. This happened because I didn't flip or reverse the image before I printed it out. I'm going to cut this image out of the pre-treated fabric decide against using that one. This is a good size for this page, but this image it looks a little too small and lost on the page, so I need to add more behind it to make it fit onto the page better. So far all I have is black and white on this page, a little touch of orange here, so maybe I can find an orange fabric that will add some more color. This one has orange in it. That's too heavy a fabric to go with this page, I think. I'm hesitant to use the pink because I've got this red edge on here, but after all, this is about school and kids and color. They don't censor themselves when they work with color, so why should I? Okay, I'll keep that there and see if anything else pops out at me. Okay, this is good. It goes with this page, the next page here. So maybe a composition that would include these three fabrics and a little punch of black to add definition. I think I'll use a larger piece of the yellow fabric, just a touch of the pink stripe, and this reddish plaid. There's a nice edge on this fabric that has some green in it, so I'm going to use that green on the edge there along with this green in the plaid to tie all these together. I'm going to leave a wide border because I'm adding other fabrics also, so I want to make sure I have enough room for the yellow to shine through. Okay, so I've got the stripes running vertically here. I could do the same with the pink stripe, or I could cut a strip and have the stripes running horizontally. Let's see how that one looks. It looks great. I like that. Okay, so I wanted to use this red plaid. fighting with this pink stripe over here, so maybe just on the one side. Just a little touch of it. Let's see. I think that's all I'm going to use of it, just along the edge here and along the bottom to frame the picture and pop it out from the page. I want to use this folded edge, but it belongs on the other side. I like this green here. Maybe if I just flip it and Fold that back up there. There we go. So I've got the green edge and a little bit of a fold there, and I'm going to trim away behind the image so that the pink will show on the other side. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to raise the picture a little bit. Moving it around to see where the placement is best. I think I'll hold off on that while I work on this page and then see how they work together. Now I used this layout earlier, having one higher, one lower. So I like that. I like the way that looks down in this corner and up here. Then I can add something else later on at the bottom of this page, and maybe a little something up here. I don't want to draw too much attention to the top of this page, so I'm not going to put anything big and bold up here. I want to keep that area open. All right. This looks okay against this background. The white edge frames it enough, but it's kind of boring and plain to me. So I want to add a little more color or pattern. 
I think giving it a small border of the black and white fabric would look great. It would pop it out from the page more and just add a little more interest, balancing it out between the two. Without it, this corner of the page in this photo has a lot of things going on. This one looks a little lonely. So let's give it some more fabric. Can never have too much fabric. Okay, would a little bit of color work? Let's see where that, oh. Here's another leftover from this piece. Maybe if I just slid a sliver of that under there to peek out, that brings the eye across the page and adds a nice stopping point for the eye too. That looks good. Let's glue it down. Oftentimes it's just a little sliver of color that will add all the difference to your page. Okay, I've slightly overlapped this margin here, which breaks up that linear look. This slightly overlaps the turned over page here. I could put this down in a diagonal orientation, but I want to keep it in a nice horizontal vertical grid. This is a book after all, and books are presented in that same format. I think it looks better to the viewer when things are presented in a way that they're accustomed to. Okay, I'm just checking to see if it looks better to have a little red plaid on that edge or not. I think I'm going to go with my original decision to hide that edge and just keep it on with the pink stripe on there. Okay, that looks good. Let's move on to the next spread. Mm -hmm.